Uh, I think for me, football and idol would have to be Stevie G. I think coming through the academy, obviously at Liverpool, was uh, a time when he'd really nullified who he was as a player and coming through the right say he came through the academy, so for me. Uh, definitely Italian food, anything to do with Italian food, I'm happy. Um, I love golf, I think most people that know me probably say I'm a bit of a bandit, but I'd say I'm just a not half decent player. Oof, um, I think I'd have to say Modric, um, he was just incredible, I don't think I got near him for 19 minutes, I tried to kick him a few times, but still missed. Easy again, you know, I'd probably my idol Stevie G, um, day to day training was just incredible, uh, standards never dropped and I think that's just to show how high regarded he is in the world of football. Do you know what, I don't think I've got many but I've, I have to put everything on left first, so left sock, left boot, left leg into a short, it's, it's strange but it's one of the things. Oh, um. I think because of the, the history of it and the celebration, I'd have to say Stevie G's against Olympiacos, the off volley. Um, I think it was probably one of the biggest moments in the Champions League, like obviously that season and probably in the history of it as well. Oof, not many. Um, I think probably going back to. Um, oh, I think volley, or oh, no, free kick, the way Bristol Rovers, I think it was second game of the season, and it was after these free kick, I'll take that one, yeah, defo. Do you know what, not a lot, just oh, a bit of a mixture really, I, I like all sorts of different types of music, I don't have one genre that I kind of, kind of stick to. Oh god, I haven't grew since I was 16. <laughs> <laughs>